What's up guys, Boris here and welcome to another One Piece theory of the day. Now today we're going to be tackling one of the most mysterious aspects of One Piece and that is the Will of D. And so I want to go ahead and start with our protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, because he has a heritage of very powerful, very uh, notorious people in the world of One Piece. I mean, we have Monkey D. Luffy, Monkey D. Garp, and Monkey D. Dragon. All three of those guys are very powerful. And the reason I want to bring him up is because ever since the first chapter, Oda has used uh, aspects of reality and you know, of real life uh, as inspirations for almost every single character's appearance, name, you, na you know, <laughs> name it. But he uses real life as inspiration for a lot of things. And yet, uh, after 800 plus chapters, we still have yet to really find the the inspiration between uh, the inspiration behind the monkey part of Luffy's name. And uh, again, monkey is very notorious in the One Piece world. Again, we have Monkey D. Luffy, the main character. He's going to be King of the Pirates, pro most probably. Um, we have Monkey D. Dragon, the most uh, sought after man in the world, I guess, since he uh, is leader of a very pol uh, powerful political faction. And we have Monkey D. Garp, who was at one point one of the strongest marines. He took down the strongest pirate of all time. So with it being such a notorious name in the One Piece verse, there has to be some sort of real life inspiration for that. And just looking back at chapter one uh, in the early chapters, I mean, Oda was already using real life inspiration since the beginning. Look at uh, Luffy's design. Uh, my good friend Everything One Piece showed me that that is actually based on Captain Barbell, a Philippine superhero. Uh, and then if you look at just the first villain, Alvida, you have sort of a Michael Jackson, Jerry Curl thing going on there, as well as the whole Snow White Queen and the mirror mirror on the wall uh, trope that you see there. Um, so you've seen since, since the beginning that Oda has been taking real life inspirations and using them. So I would assume that uh, with the main character, Monkey D. Luffy, there has to be some sort of uh, inspiration behind the monkey part. Well, thanks to a Facebook post that I saw about a month ago, which I can't find anymore, um, I think I found the answer, and this is what the post uh, said. They said that uh, monkey, the monkey part of the name, might have been influenced by a band known as the Monkees, and uh, that band, the lead singer, was known as Davy Jones. Uh, and that's pretty crazy. I'm gonna explain to you why that's so crazy. Now, Davy Jones was known as the Sailor's Devil. Because any time a sailor would die, or anything would die or sink to the bottom of the sea, it would end up in Davy Jones's locker, as what you know the myth uh, suggests. And that's very crazy because uh, if we go back to chapter one of One Piece, the very first chapter, which I have bookmarked right here, uh, we see that when Luffy eats the gum gum fruit, uh, <laughs> that was the gum gum fruit, the fruit of the dev, the fruit of the devil. It's one of the most secret treasures of the sea. So right there, I mean, you, even from the first chapter, uh, you know, we get the introduction of devil fruits, who are named after the devil, of course, and it says here that the, it's the fruit of the devil. So it's very interesting to see that, uh, you know, and, and like I said, in sailor's terms, the devil is Davy Jones. He in chapter one, same chapter as we introduced to Monkey D. Luffy. Now, if you don't believe me uh, that Davy Jones has to do with all this, uh, he was actually mentioned during the Foxy arc. And uh, here we go. Uh, we have Nico. Ro oh, we actually have Chopper talking to Nico Robin. Chopper says, "Who is Davy Jones?" And a pirate. He says that he's a pirate from long ago who was cursed by a demon, and is said to live deep down on the sea floor. So the Davy Jones in the manga is actually based on the real Davy Jones of the same legend. And that's very interesting again because we know that devil fruits when you eat them, you sink to the ground. What happens when you sink to the ground? You go down to Davy Jones's locker. So, very, very interesting. I do think that Oda had uh, this whole Davy Jones thing planned out since the beginning. Since, again, we have Monkey D, uh, Luffy, and then the Monkey part, again, one of the most notorious names in One Piece, I do believe, is based on Davy Jones, uh, who is the leader of the Monkey group. And Davy Jones is uh, the... And I'm not sure if he's responsible for the creation of Double Fruits or he's associated with Double Fruits, but essentially, the fruits will sink you down to Davy Jones's locker. So, that's a lot of stuff. So, let me do a quick recap. Monkey D. Luffy uh, the D was introduced in Chapter 1, and so was the Devil Fruit, the idea of the, the fruit of the devil. And like I said, in Sailor's terms, the devil is Davy Jones, and Davy Jones is confirmed to be a canon in the series. So that means that from the beginning, Oda had planned out 
and uh, you know the D in the middle because like I said the D is in the chapter one in, in the middle of Luffy's name a monkey D Luffy uh, monkey again probably being based off uh, the group which like I said is Davy Jones is part of and Davy Jones is actually a very famous person uh, he even well he passed away a couple of years ago um, but he was on he made guest appearances on the Brady Bunch a huge show he made guest appearances on Spongebob this guy is not this guy is well known trust me this guy is well known um, and yeah. Again, with all that stuff being in the beginning, he hasn't really mentioned uh, Davy Jones but once in the series. It's definitely something that he's waiting for us to learn more about. So, like I said, if Davy Jones was a concept that was in there since the first ever chapter, and we have the Will of D that was introduced later, and Davy Jones has yet to be brought up except for that one point, then I do believe that the Will of D is the Will of Davy Jones. And I'm willing to go a step further and say that Davy Jones was actually Joy Boy. So Jones and Joy Boy, um, I believe that Joy Boy was inspired by Davy Jones. And uh, that's, that's for a whole other video. I'm not sure if I think that's still, I'm still working on that. But uh, that would be really interesting if that is the case. Now, the reason that I think that the Will of D and, and the whole uh, Davy Jones thing, apart from what I've already said, is connected is because if you think about it in One Piece, uh, the... The, the good guys tend to be the bad guys and the bad guys tend to be the good guys. That's a common theme throughout One Piece. And uh, with Davy Jones being known as the devil, I'm very inclined to believe that he was actually a good guy. I mean, we've seen it with Nolan the Liar. We've seen it with uh, pretty much the Marines and the Pirates, the whole duality. Um, the Marines are supposed to be the good guys. A lot of times they're bad guys, like X and Morgan. And the same, so same, you know, with the Luffy and the Straw Hats, they're, they're always the good guys. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if the Devil actually ends up being one of the most, um, one of the best guys of, of all time and possibly Joy Boy, I said. And before I end this video, I do want to mention that uh, Oda did talk about Davy Jones in an SBS. And there he did sort of give a description of what we typically think of Davy Jones as a greedy, selfish guy. He drew like a picture of an old guy at the bottom of the sea. And again, this could be either one of two things. It could be, again, uh, the reversal of roles. So that's what people, you know, that's what he says, so that people will believe that. But in reality, he's completely opposite of that, like we've seen time and time again in One Piece. Or two, uh, like I said, this character might be inspired by the story of Davy Jones. So it might, his name might not be Davy Jones, but like I said, Joy Boy and Jones, you know, that could definitely be an inspiration right there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe for more One Piece Theory of the Day until the end of October. And until next time, thanks for watching.